Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. There was a crazy SBC that was dropped yesterday that is literally going into everybody's team, and I don't think any of us expected the dramatic effect it was going to have on this game, or really on the cards on the market that people are selling because they're putting this new SBC into their team. We got to talk about that because it is one of the biggest singular position market crashes I've ever seen on a position in this game, like ever. Crazy drops in one day, all because EA dropped one simple SBC. And with that, of course, we got to look forward to whose SBC is going to be dropping today as a part of Ultimate Birthday. And what else is going on on a Tuesday? It's Gamble Tuesday, but is it going to be a bit of a slower day? It might be. We'll talk about that and how to make some coins today as well on this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. Also, I do have to say, if you noticed on the thumbnail today, there's the birthday hat, whatever. It is my birthday today, 28 years young. The best birthday present, though, is you guys. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for being in the part of the community. And uh, I am going to open these two player picks right now just because I thought of it and because I had them out on a sign before we start today's video. Uh, speaking of today's content, what is this 88 plus going to bring back to us today? Is it going to be a one of four instead of a one of three? Can I get some birthday luck from he hey sports? Grimaldo, uh, we're going to go with Renard and we're going to go straight into the exchange. Well, it is what it is, or actually straight into the true of any SBC. So let's get into things though. And first look back at yesterday and kind of talk about all this madness that's going on with this one player SBC. But before we get there, We'll look at the Upgrade Monday grind that we got. Upgrade Mondays, guys, right? We always get the upgrade packs every single Monday. Um, they refresh off and on those days. Instead of the 81-plus player pick coming back, we had the 80-plus player. Which I think is this the better one, if I'm being completely honest. This is the one that is clear if we're looking at the best player picks in this game. Um, I'm looking at this with only six golds required, with one of which needing to be a rare, as the crafting upgrades are going to be mint for the next couple of days. Now, these are going away. I need to check the, the date, double check the date, because if these are gonna be here through the weekend, that is fantastic for this promo that potentially is coming next, called Golazo. We had a big leak yesterday, which we'll talk about, as I only get an 84 in this video today. We'll talk about that towards the end, uh, but these player picks are out for the next six days, so that it's nice to have those once again over the weekend, and uh, that's a W. We also had the 83 plus player pick, which I think I'm not really gonna do. I don't know, man. Whenever I see an 83 plus player pick completed, I literally think to myself, wow, that is a player pick that somebody could have gotten three 80 pluses. I think it's about how the math works out. Three 80 pluses for um, almost four even, to be honest, uh, for the price of one of those. I feel like I get 82 or 83 pluses in almost all of my 80 plus player picks anyway, apart from a couple of them. So I feel like it's worth it to just keep cranking out the 80 pluses just because the value there is so good. But that does put the menu craft and the menu grind fully on. Of course, the objective packs for the fodder that we can get, coupled with the exchanges, the 84 times 5 and the menu grind with this 80 plus player pick. It is fantastic right now in the menus, and I'm going to try to take full advantage of that to continue to craft SBCs like Shuameni, who I'm working on right now. Now, a quick stop in the Challenges tab yesterday. Uh, this is an SBC that's a must-do as well. Make sure you're doing your daily gold upgrades along with the exchanges, right, to get yourself those rare common, common and rare golds in the club and put some of those commons into this women's marquee matchups that gives you a 50K pack tradable. Definitely worth it right now with all that is in packs. You could hit something good. Or at the very least, you're getting some coins back. Basically, what you would put into this SBC back from a 50k pack. So that is a very nice SBC, one to not skip out on, even though I'm somebody who would probably skip out on that type of SBC pretty often. Now, let's talk about the real big SBC yesterday. And it is a right back. Uh, and it is a player by the name of Reese James. You guys know who we're talking about, right? You saw the SBC was dropped yesterday. You might have already completed it. But I didn't expect this SBC to be this crazy. Guys, I think this might be single-handedly impacting the market in his position of right back more than any other SBC that's been released on this game literally the entire year. This is bananas. The price of this SBC, for one, is amazing. It's good for all budgets. It's basically hitting everybody on this game. People on large budgets with millions of coins are looking at this card and like, yo, I want to do it because he looks cracked. People on lower budgets are like, wait a second, I can craft this card with just a couple of squads that it requires, and I'm getting an absolutely insane right back card. 91 rated Reese James, whipped pass plus, jockey plus, he doesn't have anticipate, my go-to, and a lot of our go-tos for defending playstyle. He does not have that, but this is an insane card, right? Absolutely 
huge stat boost on everywhere else except pace. I was hoping that he'd maybe have like 93 pace, but they didn't quite give him that from his Dynasty's card. Um, plus one pace, but five shooting, five passing, three defending, and four physical. He's going to be great going forward. A lot of people have even mentioned playing him as a center mid in game, which I think high, high work rates, he could be a pretty good box to box with that extra pace. His passing is definitely good enough. And his other plat passing play styles that he's got long ball pass, whipped pass and incisive. That's really, really solid. He's got the relentless play style as well, even bruiser in there. So this could be a, even a box to box player, just a great SBC all around wherever you're going to use him for 180,000 coins. Look at the thumbs up on this 30,200 thumbs up on this Reese James and the SBC itself is by far and away one of the most thumbs up SBCs I've ever seen. 96% thumbs up rate on the Reese James. Unbelievable. Like, I mean, I loaded into, I mean, I played a couple of cup games yesterday. I played a couple of champs games to give away my wins because I'd hit 11. I need to give away some wins to get the rewards. And I think Reese James was in like the three, each of the three teams that I gifted the wins and champs, right? He's going to be everywhere, like everywhere. This guy is going to be throughout this weekend. Rivals, he's not going to be in the cup because he's too high rated. But other than that, he's going to be basically everywhere. Um, and that's, I guess, what EA wanted to do yesterday with this game. They wanted to give us a Reese James that basically everybody was going to go and put in their teams. Now, the question is, Nate, is he good enough to replace X, Y, and Z right back? Well, let me show you. It looks like every single type of right back on this game is down. Because people believe that he is good enough. Cafu just actually rebounded about 40k. But he was panic sold so freaking much. Guys, if you take a look at the cards that have dropped the most in the last 24 hours on Footbin, we've got cards like this Cafu that were down 50% plus at their peak. Um, Rico Lewis down over 50%. Sasha Bowie, Loudrup, Trippier, Cancelo, Alex Scott, right backs are so mudded he's now 270 and as we just saw he's now about 300,000 coins he is rebounding back a bit but that doesn't take away from the fact that this cafu went from 525,000 coins down to 270 that is a literal having in price all because of one player sbc and if i'm comparing cafu to the reese james I mean, if you did the Cafu SBC, maybe if you don't want to do Reese James, you don't have to. But I think something has to be said as well for just the new and fun car that is being released during this promo with great stats and a double play style plus. If you've been using Cafu for a long time, you might as well go craft the Reese James and give that card a shot, right? But that's just one of the cards that's down. Rico Lewis from 160k down to 80,000 coins. Price has literally been sliced in half all because of one SBC even team of the year cards and like this Cafu, the thunderstruck Cafu, team of the year icon lam is down a bunch in value because of that sbc of course pedro porto absolutely tanked in price yesterday as another prem right back but i even saw like ona batier as a team of the year she is back up now the panic was not long lived but this card went from 1.6 mil down to 1.23 She's now back up about 100k, so good trading opportunity with team of the years almost any time they get panic sold. That's one thing I will mention, but like that's crazy, honestly, man. That's crazy. The team of the year right back was being sold off for the new Reese James SBC. So that's what's kind of happening on the market right now. Out of some of these right backs, like Onabate, that's already gone back up. You can kind of actually have a trading opportunity with this. This Sasha Bowie card is one that I would keep my eyes on closely because I sold this guy for 400,000 coins a couple days ago, and he went from 380 down to 213. I picked one up at 205,000 coins. This card's very rare. So if you want to look at a cheap right back that you're, you've been wanting for your team for a, from a different league or a different links, right? Premier League right backs, I would probably stay away from those. Those are going to stay mudded. But this card is already rebounded from about 215 to about 230. He might come back down today as more people get back on the game and they start selling their right backs because, you know, everybody's doing Reese James and, and they want to do Reese James and that sort of thing. Um, but I think that in sometime around today, you would see a low point for a lot of those right backs and there might be an opportunity to pick a couple of them up and hold on to them for a while you're going to have to be holding for a hot minute because it's going to take a while for those right backs to rise back up but once the panic selling kind of ends that is a trading method i guess you would call it um something of a trading method that people do on this game is they see when big sbcs drop like that they watch the panic sell they let the card price drop 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 and then they buy it 
near the low and then kind of let it rise back up just as the panic ends. So that's one thing to watch out for there. Now, as you can see here, I just picked up a Mudrick for 490,000 coins on bid. This is a card that's had the opposite effect, right? People that need the Chelsea links or want to go and try a Chelsea card, right? Like a Mudrick or like a Lauren James have gone out to the market and tried buying these cards up or they have been buying these cards up and their prices have been rising. Mudrick's back down right now, which is exactly why I'm looking at him. And we're gonna talk about the birthday cards here in a second. This is the five-star skills Mudrick. Yesterday, he went from 480, which was crazy low, up to 530 during the daytime. He's, his price has been chilling around 500,000 coins for the most part. But right after content, when the Mudrick, uh, or when the Lord, sorry, let's try that again. When the Reese James SBC was dropped, he went from 515K all the way to 560. And then it's kind of come back down. He's like 530 right now. I'm trying for the five-star skills version to pick him up around 510K. I think with, especially with weekend league rewards being paid out today, that's going to bring coins to the market. That's going to make these Mudrick cards and some other links, some other Premier League links and some Chelsea links potentially rise. So I've bought two Mudricks, the weak foot version for 500K and 490. And I'm hoping to get this one for like 510 because the skills version is just a little bit more expensive. But since I've said Lauren James a couple times, instead of Reese James, let me show you her card, the um, relation to Mr. James himself. From 110,000 coins, she goes to 150, and she's still up at 137,000 coins. So, big rise there, of course, and that's probably gonna maintain that price. It's gonna be an inflated price for the next couple of days as those Chelsea links are very, very, very in demand. So that's the big news right now in this game is that right backs are down bad because of an absolutely insane SBC of the Reese James variety. Now, for the rest of the market, I mean, it, it wasn't really that crazy of a day yesterday. A lot of prices are just chilling. Uh, the foot birthday cards, the icons, I've been watching those very closely. You see me eyeing these cards right now and even picking up that uh, icon right card from the full birthday icon team. I just picked up this Ian Wright for 435,000 coins. That price to me is so cheap. I mean, yesterday I sold this card right around right here, I think. Or no, I bought the I bought the weak foot one yesterday and sold them for like 517. But like this card was 450 at his low point yesterday. The fact that he's lower now, we have coins that are coming into the market today with rewards. It makes me want to at least try to buy a couple things to see if we could potentially make some profits. And as I look around this team of birthday cards, and as I compare it to last Monday as well, these cards, not all of them did great last Monday, but if you pick your spots correctly, I remember trading Rodrigo yesterday. He did very good, or not yesterday, last week on Tuesday, out of Monday night into Tuesday, he did good. Jota did okay, I think. Even Saka did well. So not all of them did good. Like I remember Alex Morgan got panic sold, um, but there were some other ones that did end up moving pretty well in price. I think I'm going to chance it with a couple of these this week too. Um, I was looking to get, to get Hugo Sanchez for a really good price and I couldn't get him as low as I wanted to. He already started to go back up. So um, I'm not going to put all my coins into this, but I'm going to put some coins into it just because I believe the market still is a pretty strong place right now and it's a pretty good place to trade. Um, I'm probably not going to buy any more Sasha Bowie's than just this one. I bet, like I said, he's probably going to drop again later on uh, earlier today. And that could be an opportunity if you wanted to get in to go in on him. But yeah, I'm pretty gung-ho on some of these birthday cards from Team 2 because I really feel like today the content's going to slow down a bit, which is why I'm really watching these and potentially going to go in. I just missed an opportunity to buy Salah for 4.7 million coins. I let it slide by, and now he's selling at 5.1. So that could have been a really good profit there. Um, and I'm even kind of looking at some of the cards that are in the re-release like this Ronaldo, the lowest he's been is like right now 800k. That's pretty low for him. This Zaire Emery for like 420,000 coins. I remember some of the cards from the Team 1 re-release actually ended up doing pretty well out of packs. So that's just something that I'm kind of watching right now and trying to visualize is, is there an opportunity for some rises there to happen here in the next couple of days? I'm just trying to get back into the trading kind of uh, not not grind we have been grinding a lot with trading but i didn't trade too much over the weekend just trying to get back into the swing of things and watch a lot of these prices and uh i'm gonna try to bid on this for 740 if it goes any higher than that i might bid that up but yeah that's kind of what i'm watching right now as some of these cards have gotten low and often as you see the market pick up on a tuesday after foot champs rewards are paid out usually that that coin injection does make some of those prices rise. Now, as we mentioned also earlier in the weekend, I do think that a coin injection on the market in terms of the fodder or uh, could make the fodder go up in terms of just people getting coins um, from 
going out and getting those rewards today, I think you could see some prices going up here on the higher tier, especially the 91s. Yesterday on the stream, we were saying that if you could pick up De Bruyne or Holland, which they were down at like 40, around 40, 3,000 coins, maybe even a little bit lower than that on bid. I thought that was a really good buy opportunity because I think today people are going to get rewards. They're going to get fodder from those rewards and coins, and they're going to go out and start to buy some of these players to go and again, do the Shua Many SBC like I am working on at the moment, or maybe do an SBC like Ribéry. All those craftable SBCs that are going out there and, and happening right now that people are doing, they need that high rated fodder for, and I think it's going to continue to rise, especially because We've got yet again another big SBC coming on Friday, which we mentioned in yesterday's video of that um, Vinny Player of the Month that is kind of looming over our SBC heads as well, if you will, um, in that sort of sense. That's a big SBC. It's probably going to have some higher rated squads. So we're watching that very, very closely, but that's kind of the market. I think the market's going to be a great place to trade in and out of. Yesterday, I only bought like these five cards, really. That was about it. Uh, right for 460, right for 465, sold at 497 and 517. This Royce I bought at 206. And then Kunku's, I haven't even checked his price, but I sold him yesterday before the content drop for 127. And he probably ended up going even further with the links. So that's kind of extended market talk and what's going on there. The market's great to trade in and out of though. If you want to make coins ahead of team of the season, it is an amazing, amazing time to do that just watch those market fluctuations up and down footbin graphs are your best friend go through these old promo teams even the current promo teams if you want to mess around with that but it's safer to go to the out of packs cards foot birthday team one the icons from team one and uh, even two or three promos ago fantasy cards good to trade with as well even the ones that don't get any more upgrades they're rare they fluctuate great time to trade now let's talk about today our week two goodies kind of setting the table and setting up what's coming on this week is today's edition of the foot birthday SBC is Luca Bakio happening today. I did not even know that he was at Sevilla. I can't lie. I was still thinking Bundesliga when I heard his name, but he is playing for Sevilla and he's got an in for him this year. This one is a birthday SBC that I don't have a lot of anticipation for, to be honest. I think this is going to be an SBC like last week where there was a couple where we were just like, Oh, okay. That's not a terrible SBC, but it's not one that I'm really super duper interested in doing. I think that's how most of us are going to feel about this Luca Bakio today. I hope, however, that they give him a really nice boost in terms of the stats. And I really hope that they give him kind of, you know, how um, the Harit SBC was. And actually, I'm using Harit in my uh, cup team at the moment when I'm playing the cup because um, he's a really good card, especially with that 88 rated aspect to him. Oh, more Ian Rice for 4 429. Sign me up. Let me get one of those. Um, with that Luca Bakio coming today, I hope he's just got boosted stats. He's a bit taller, so I could see it being maybe like, I don't know. His, his regular card has got technical and flair. Maybe some aerial goes on in there. Maybe a little finesse plus. I'm, I'm always down for finesse plus. Uh, but he's six foot two. So we'll see what kind of SBC he gets today, but he is getting a player SBC. And then, of course, as we already opened up the SBC at the beginning of the video, today's Gamble Tuesday. We always get a, a player pick on a Tuesday, and uh, they've been slowly just getting this SBC more and more beefy as time goes on. So today, I'm going to guess, since it was a one of three that we just opened, I'm going to guess it's still an 88 rated, 88 plus, but they're going to make it one of four. That's just my guess because they've been doing that in the past couple of weeks, little by little upgrading that SBC. So that should be coming out today. Other than that, guys, I, I don't expect much. I think it's going to be a quieter day, which is fine. It's fine to have quieter days to catch up on the gameplay, maybe a little bit less menu grinding, kind of sort out what you got from rewards, what you got in SBCs right now, what you want to craft, what kind of effort you want to put in. Definitely play some cup, though. I played seven games of the cup yesterday. Um, I wouldn't say that it was fun because the gameplay felt weird. It just fell off. And I know I'm using lower rated players, but... Um, this will be a good time today to kind of grind through this cup, maybe get your rivals wins going for the rewards for that. Still, I got to work on some squad battles for like St. Patrick's Day objectives. And also I can't forget about Evos. I'm trying to do Evos alongside of squad battles and even a little bit of like rivals gameplay too, trying to fit all this stuff in, um, right now so that we can get all these games played. Like I got Evos expiring a couple days here that I got to fix up and figure out almost done with weak foot peak on craig here but i'm gonna have to you know finish that off here pretty quickly so that i can get that claimed then i have to do alessandrini because i'm really trying to make sure this alessandrini fits the evo kind of uh system that i'm gonna try to do with this um if you didn't see it in the stream yesterday i mentioned that this alessandrini 
it's kind of a, we're going to the back door route here. We're, it's a little bit sketchy, right? This Alessandrini in the tricky Ricardo 250K Evo does not get any stat upgrades. And he has nine play styles in his card, right? So since he has nine play styles, he does not fit the Birthday Magic Evolution. Now, here's the tricky part to this, right? When I search for this card in here, he shows up. Alessandrini shows up as an option and it says number of play styles, max eight. Technically, when this card gets upgraded, through the tricky Ricardo Evo, this dead ball plus, this dead ball play style will become dead ball plus. And so therefore, I think the way that's going to end up counting it is he will no longer have nine play styles making him ineligible for this Evo. He will have eight play styles and one play style plus as his dead ball turns from a play style to a play style plus. That's, I believe, the way how it's calculated. We've looked at this before, and I'm definitely chancing it. In the end, I'm going to have a five-star, five-star Alessandrini, and if I'm able to put him into the birthday magic after this, that would be super dope, and it would be a rare card, kind of a one-of-one -one situation, as not too many people would be able to have that. I know some of you guys have followed that same Evo path as me earlier on in the year because it's such an amazing card, and when we saw that chain Evo possibility earlier on, we were so excited to do it. Uh, but we'll just have to see how that ends up working out. I'm trying to get those games in so that we can uh, see how it ends up playing out. Now, a couple more things to discuss really quick is speaking of Alessandrini, we still have a silver Evo that is leaked. Could be today, could be tomorrow. It's a birthday Evo, supposedly, according to the leak. So it's got to come out in the next couple of days. We've already mentioned this, but again, this is another shout to check your club for some silvers because cards like this Alessandrini, he was all the way at 8,000 coins yesterday at one point so after this evo has been leaked there's been random cards spiking as people buy these and invest to prepare again be careful when you're selling these don't sell them for max price if you have many of them because you can get banned and coin wiped so be very very careful with that but five star skill moves in the first touch and technical plus would be very good on his card if you don't have an alessandrini evo he does fit with these requirements so that's why he is going up and the last thing we already touched on it we had our first leak for the Golasso promo, which is supposed to be, we believe, after Ultimate Birthday, it really, guys, does look like Trophy Titans from last year. With the car design the way that it is, it just screams Trophy Titans. Now, the fact that we had a leak is really interesting, right? Because before, we were like, guys, are the leaks actually gone? Are we not getting leaks anymore? Because... We didn't get like any leaks for Ultimate Birthday. Um, this is going to be a card I would imagine that is in packs as a part of the promo. I don't think it's going to be as crazy of a promo as Ultimate Birthday, just being completely honest. That's kind of how it goes, right? You could, we talk about the ups and downs and, and the, the hills and the valleys in this game all the time of how their content rolls. And I have to imagine that we are kind of coming out of a hill mountaintop experience with all of this crazy content that we've got. It's probably going to come back down a little bit, down to earth, if you will. So... With that Cruyff card, I mean, he is coming. That is that is a card that is coming. It is a leak. It is official a leak. Um, it's not many. We haven't had many leaks, like we mentioned, but now I guess they're back, question mark, somehow? I don't know. Um, watch out for that. Watch out for more leaks. We'll see if EA start to promo this Golasso promo. Um, I, we, I do have some thoughts on it, and uh, we'll get to those later on in the week because last year with Trophy Titans, that was the first time we ever had a promo like that. And it did make some things really, really interesting for the market. And I think it's going to change some things around this year too. But as it sits right now, I don't think there's going to be too much panic for that. All I would say is an early on preparation tip. Be careful with icons that you have. Um, you know, I know I just bought a few icons, so I'm saying this after I bought them, right? But just be careful with some icons. Maybe like Cruyff's Thunderstruck. I'm sure it's getting panic sold a bit right now. But I think the cheaper tier of icons maybe like base versions that are still meta and usable. If they haven't got a special yet, that's the sort of cards, especially if it's an icon that has not gotten a promo version yet. I would be very careful with that specific icon player just because it's a very high likelihood they could get one and then they would drop in price for sure. And a panic selling with the leaks or, or just the new card coming out onto the game. So that's going to reset the whole icon market in terms of prices probably in the next couple of days as well when that comes out. So we'll just have to see, but we'll look forward to more of those leaks and more of that information. But still for right now, we're living in the enjoyment of Ultimate Birthday, the content on the menus, the daily login today. Got to talk about this to end the video. Daily login today on a Tuesday, second to last day. If you haven't missed any days, we're all getting an 85-3. Good freaking fodder, man. And then of course, tomorrow, Wednesday, big day, 85-4 and 83-20. It's going to be a banger. I'm excited to open some of those on stream and to see what kind of SBCs we can get crafted. Can we end with one more pack just for the fun of it? 
One more pack. Pack Fiend right at the moment. What do I got? An 80 times 5. I'm here for it. Come on. Show me the foot birthday flare. Didn't expect it. Canada center mid. Who? Houston Dash. NWSL. What's the rating here? Schmidt. All right. Cold. 83 rated. Well, that's, we're going to end it there, chat. All right, guys. You're not chat. You're YouTube. Thank you guys for watching the videos. I appreciate the love. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today where I will say chat because that's a Twitch stream and we talk as a community in chat. All right, guys. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the love and support. Peace. Out.